Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build muscle using only two sets per exercise. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas are turned into videos just like this. All right. If you need coaching, check out the link below. The new year is coming. Let's get our heads out of our asses. I'd love to work with you. Sign up today or send me questions. All right. So, a lot of times when my clients are busy, I encourage them, hey, if you're super busy, life's kicking you in the balls, you got finals, you got uh, eight Christmas parties this week, it's okay to drop your sets down per exercise. Get into the gym, get some productive training in, and get out. So it led me to this video. If you could only do two sets per exercise... How would you get the most out of that? Because I'm not just talking about the case where we're dropping sets on a random occasion, but let's talk about how you would maximize work with only two sets per exercise if this is the type of program you wanted to run for a season or as a test. So I have three suggestions. Number one, we're, well, first off, we're going to try to maximize some things. Number one, we're going to try to maximize our volume. This means maximize our reps. We're going to try to get in more time under tension. We're going to try to get in more general mechanical tension. We're going to try to get in more time, as much time as we can under the bar, so to speak. So what does this mean? Well, it doesn't mean anything earth shattering. It means we probably have to drop a lot of the lower, super lower rep stuff, like anything under six reps per set, that probably has to be chopped. Let's stick with six to eight, eight to 10, 10 to 12, 12 to 15, et cetera. Reasonable rep ranges. This will allow us to get some time under the bar, a little bit more time under the bar, a little bit more tension, and a little bit more general reps. So a little bit more volume. Because honestly, if you're doing two sets of five, it's not a lot of time under the bar, really. So let's try and get a few more reps in. And uh, I'm going to add to that in just a minute. But that's what I would do. If I'm training, I'm going to try to do, let's say on bench, two sets of 8 by 10, two sets of 8 by 12, maybe a set of 6 by 8 followed by a drop set of 8 by 12, something like that. On your isolations, machines, you know, 8 to 12, 12 to 15, let's get some rep volume in. Number two... That's maximize tension. This is something Brad Schoenfeld was talking about today on his blog. You can go over to his blog and, and read about tension. But to maximize tension, it's not just progressive overload. There's another factor that's involved. And something I've been talking on this channel forever, something that was the basis of my book, Massive Iron, and that is pushing sets for as many quality reps as possible. If you're only going to do two sets per exercise, you want to increase the intensity, relative intensity of these sets by pushing these sets for as many quality reps as possible. This doesn't mean necessarily training to failure. The way I like to explain it is push as many sets, push it, push each set for as many quality reps as possible. Stop that set when form starts to break down or you feel you might fail on the next rep. A good indicator of that is when your bar speed starts to slow. Now, mechanical tension isn't just the tension you feel during a set. It increases the closer you get to failure. That's why it's very important if you're after hypertrophy or the muscle building process to push sets deeper. So if you're only, here's a take home point. If you're only doing two sets per exercise, you need to take them deep. You need to take them for as many quality reps as you can. That'll increase the tension. That'll increase the tension and that'll increase the muscle building potential. All right. Third point, maximize variety. And this is kind of a little end cap. But variety has been shown to be beneficial when it comes to hypertrophy. Not an extreme amount of variety, okay? But let's say you're doing three exercises for your chest this week. So next week, you might do three different exercises. I don't like to rotate exercises in and out more than two weeks and two-week blocks. So I might do incline bench one week, flat bench the next. You might do dips one week 
push-ups, the next whatever. You can work in some exercise variety, but just have it like two choices. This will increase, this will help to facilitate better hypertrophy or muscle building. We're attacking a muscle from a variety of different exercises over a two week period. I did this a lot over the years. Now this doesn't mean you have to get away, away from some of your favorite exercises. You could start off with bench press as your main chest exercise. And then you could alternate, say, between dumbbell incline bench and dumbbell flat bench. So you have two variations. For your third exercise, you could do dips. And maybe you could do uh, alternate that with pec deck superset with push-ups for max safe reps. So you're working in some exercise variety. So just to recap, if you're trying to get the most muscle you can out of two sets per exercise, number one, use reasonable rep ranges. <clears throat> Excuse me. Use reasonable rep ranges. Uh, don't just go. You don't want to go super low rep sets. Number two, you want to maximize tension. And tension isn't just the tension what, that we feel under the bar. Remember, tension increases as muscles fatigue during a set. So the closer you push that set to failure, the better. And number three. Uh, you want to maximize your variety. Now, just an end cap on failure. Failure is not a necessity. And each exercise has a different set of demands, a unique set of demands. I'm not advocating you push near failure on deadlifts or squats or anything like that. Practice safe sets. So, guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.